September 13th, 1985, the original Super Mario Brothers released for the Japanese Famicom. September 13th, 2020, it's Super Mario Brothers 35th Anniversary! The Super Mario Brothers franchise has come a long way with its many remakes, spin-offs, and rip-offs, including the all-new Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I just can't wait! The Mario series and its beloved characters have made an impact on many of us, and to celebrate, I figure the best and most logical video to do would be to break down what are, in my opinion, the top 10 best main series Mario games. Before I begin this list, I just want to mention two rules. Super Mario All-Stars and Super Mario 3D All-Stars will not be included on this list, and this list will be including main series Super Mario games only. So no Paper Mario, Mario Kart, those may have a separate list later on. Anyways, let's get down to it already. Number 10 Super Mario Maker 2, Nintendo Switch 2019 Now I know it may be really weird to start with this one, I had to really think about whether to add this one or not, but due to the style of gameplay, the fact that it has the word Super in the title, and the New World Map feature added in, I decided to count it. The Super Mario Maker games are a great way for players to create and share their own levels with players all over the world. Fun fact, the game is originally intended to be used as a tool to develop levels within the company only. They quickly realized its potential as a full-fledged game, and pitched the idea to Super Mario Bros. game designer, Takashi Tezuka. Anyways, enough about Super Mario Maker 2. It's a great and creative game, but there's still a long way to go on this list for more... Super Mario-like games. Number 9 Super Mario Bros. NES 1985 Once again, talking about this game after 35 years, it's the classic Super Mario Bros. Even though it wasn't really Mario's first appearance. Now why is this one on the list? 1. It's a lovable classic. 2. I love playing it. I don't mean a classic, online, emulator, or any of that. I mean on this. The original NES. That's how you really get into it. My third reason for why it's on this list? On the NES, there's another version of this game where you can play some Duck Hunt. Number 8 Super Mario Bros. 3 NES 1998 a nice graphical upgrade from the original Super Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros. 3 had the addition of a world map, transferable items between maps, an easy-to-follow story throughout the game, and bonus rooms, and this is not counting Super Mario Bros. 2 since it's pretty much just Doki Doki Panic. I don't have much else to say about this one, but it's a great experience. Unless, of course, you're dealing with all those auto-scrolling airships. Number 7 Super Mario 64 DS Nintendo DS 2004 This is no ordinary remix. Oh no 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 no. Super Mario 64 introduced being able to play as Yoshi, Luigi, and even Wario in a main series Mario game. In fact, Yoshi's actually the starting character in this one. These extra characters, in my opinion at least, brought a great new way to play Super Mario 64. Each character has traits, such as speed, which makes for planning better strategies. This also brings the other characters' caps onto the maps to transform into them, and use their now unique abilities. Goodbye Metal Mario, we have Metal Wario! Though for some reason, they did keep bringing Metal Mario back in racing games. Number 6 Super Mario Odyssey, Nintendo Switch, 2017 one of Mario's most recent adventures, Super Mario Odyssey introduces Cappy, a living hat creature who takes Mario's transformations to the next level. Rather than the classic grab a flower turn into fire Mario technique, he now throws his cap at an enemy to take control of them like a parasitic fungus. And in that note, has anyone noticed that Fire Mario isn't a costume in the game? It's just really odd to me. Either way, this game also has a good mix of its own version of cultural diversity, including each world having its own people and currency. This game was very well done in my opinion, and I can't help but wonder how Nintendo plans to top it in the next main series game. Number 5 Super Mario World SNES 
1990. Just like the original Super Mario Brothers, playing this game just doesn't feel right unless you're playing it on its original console. This game introduced a new concept, something that Nintendo's been trying to do since the days of the NES. You know him as... In Super Mario World, we are finally able to ride Yoshi. It gave players a new experience of stomping, fire-breathing, flying, eating, babysitting, and so on. The new map was also very intricate, having multiple ways to travel, and having the inclusion of Star Road. This game also brought the dreaded pain that is the Special World. Many Mario games have their so-called hardest level, but the Special World is all intense. Number 4 Super Mario Sunshine, Nintendo GameCube, 2002 I hope not too many people forgot about this game. It actually seemed to slip from Nintendo's mind while deciding how to make Splatoon. It's true. Anyway, back to Sunshine. This game had Mario cleaning islands. Not what you'd expect out of your traditional Mario game. Super Mario Sunshine brought Flood, the Flash Liquidizer Ultra Dowsing device, which makes your gameplay unlike any other Mario game. Flood's nozzles allow Mario to squirt, hover, jet, and rocket jump. I can't go into too much detail with this one without giving spoilers, but for those who haven't played it, I really recommend giving it a try. The only thing I don't get is, in a game filled with water, why in the great world of Mother Earthbound can't Yoshi swim? You can do a perfectly fine Super Mario World! Number 3 Super Mario Galaxy 2 Wii 2010 Before defying gravity in carts, we are defying gravity in space. The Super Mario Galaxy series introduced motion controls, Rosalina, Lumas, a fully orchestrated soundtrack, Super Mario Galaxy 2 brought us Rock Mario, The Spin Drill, Cloud Mario, Yoshi and Galaxy, Fluzzard. All oh, this game is beautiful. Galaxy 2 even brought us Ghost Races with Luigi. And again, I've just gotta say, the soundtrack to this game is beautiful. Hmm, who could hate that? Nobody. Number 2 Super Mario 3D World Wii U 2013 Getting closer to the bottom now, this game introduced 4-player co-op mode to 3D Super Mario games. Of course, no one could properly credit this game and not mention the Super Bell, which gives the protagonist cat suits. This allows him to swipe, climb, swoop, and even climb the goal pole. Talk about OP. Though, I guess the goal pole can also have some tricks up its sleeve. This game also introduced some of the most difficult courses I have ever seen, and I'm not just talking about Champions Road. This game is good fun for casual Mario players, and the final levels are sure to push serious players to their limit. Honorable Mentions! Now we briefly discuss some other good Mario games that just didn't make this list. First off, there's new Super Mario Bros. for reviving the old 2D side-scrolling gameplay, the original Super Mario 64, Super Mario Run for bringing unique Super Mario gameplay to mobile devices, Super Mario Land 2 6 Golden Queens for introducing this guy, and finally, new Super Mario Bros. 2 for the unique and awesome Gold Flower. Number 1! Super Mario Galaxy, Wii 2007. Yep, it's the original Super Mario Galaxy, the one most people probably weren't expecting to see in this position, and the game that scored the absolute lowest in popularity at the recent My Nintendo vote. Now, why is Galaxy at the top of my list? Simply put, it's my first Mario game. It's nostalgic. On top of that, along with the reasons listed for Galaxy 2, the original Galaxy was the first to have a fully orchestrated soundtrack, motion controls, power-ups like the Bee Mushroom, Spring Mushroom, Boo Mushroom, Red Star, and Ice Flower. Unless, of course, you count Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. It also had interesting methods of clearing missions, such as ray surfing like in Sunshine, moving through a bubble, racing a cosmic clone, collecting purple coins, and so on. Also, after meeting certain conditions, Luigi gets to take charge in Super Luigi Galaxy! The original Super Mario Bros. game has been out for 35 years now. That's quite a milestone! It's fun to look back and see all the adventures and sports games that the cast has been through, and I'm really excited to replay it on Super Mario 3D All-Stars. The only thing I'm not too happy with, though, is the exclusion of me profiles in Galaxy. Uh, but I get it. I do. 
we didn't exactly have all the new things the Miis have gained over the years. That's all for this video. The game is officially out, and it's time to celebrate. Happy anniversary, Mario! Austin, signing out.